Hey everyone, so uh, welcome to uh, the first proper live stream that I'm going to be doing. Uh, let's see if I can pull up the chat. Um, yeah, so um, that's not working there. Um, so yeah, struggling to find where my chat settings are. Oh, there we go, got it. So yeah, uh, welcome along, going to be playing some MTGO. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I was going to play my feather deck, but I think we're going to change that over and go for Knight's Tribal for a little bit of fun uh, with IL. So let's submit that deck. Uh, so yeah, I got what odds it put in. All the lands first. So it's basically Ors of Knights, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, a load of equipments and stuff. Um, so it's quite similar to the... Sir Gwyn deck tech that I just put out, except it's missing a lot of the red parts. But yeah, it contains quite a lot of the same cards because it was something that I've been working on for a while. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we will create a game. Uh, yeah, already set up, so we'll create that and see how we go, see if we get any takers. So I've got cables and stuff going all over the place under the desk. Okay, so I've already got two people jumping in, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys are all having a lovely Sunday. It is actually surprisingly sunny here, which is, yeah, really nice. Started off proper miserable, but yeah, it's sunny got a lot, lot better. Um, still waiting for that fourth person. So yeah, 2 p.m. Uh, seems like a good time here in the UK and streams will now either be on uh, 2 p.m. on a Saturday or Sunday depending what which day off of the weekend uh, my wife gets. So I'll be able to do the opposite. So let's open these out. Yield. And then wait for it to show us who we're facing off against. Hopefully it won't glitch. So we have got Najila. Uh, so Warrior Tribal, fantastic. Uh, really nasty to go against though. Uh, we've got a Unclaimed Territory and a Field of Ruin, which isn't great. We do have Commander Sphere, but I'm tempted to mulligan that. And it's mulligan me to two of the same cards again. That is crazy. Um, we're going to keep that, to be honest. We've got a swamp in there. It's not ideal, but yeah, we'll go for it. Cool. So we're up against Najila. We've also got uh, Kynaeus and Tiro. Uh, so possibly group hug, but that'll be interesting. And then this player is... Playing Crick. Okay, so uh, one of the new ones from uh, C19. Uh, they've just, oh, it's my turn. I better stop talking. So we just drew a locket. Uh, we're going to lead off with a swamp. Blimey, that's been a bit laggy. Into Stoneforge Masterwork. Cool. Um, yeah, let's just do that and we'll hide the chat down, get that out of the way. I do like having the game log down the side though, it helps me sort of keep track of everything. So they've already gone uh, Urborg, uh, everything's a swamp, into Elixir of Immortality. So that's quite a strong start. They've gone Bayou into a Carpet of Flowers at the beginning of each of your main phases. If you haven't added mana with this ability this turn, you can add some stuff so yeah that's pretty cool uh they've gone from island and that is one of my all-time favorite islands absolutely love it from onslaught i actually just picked one up for my lgs the geek lab uh when was that friday on my way home from work i popped in to see if they had any <laughs> it's really sad looking through the basic lands for any exciting old ones uh they've gone swamp What's our line of play next turn? It is literally going to be unclaimed territory and then pass at this rate. Uh, IL costs four. 
So we're not going to get there. We have got another swamp though, so that's pretty good. So next turn I'll be able to command a sphere or ores, ores of locket. Uh, there we go. So we'll play that one down. And we are going to pass the turn. So yeah, nothing going on there really, unfortunately, yeah. And that was after one mulligan, so never mind. Um, so yeah. Um, I've got mana untapped, so I'm going to have to keep on F6-ing this all the way through. And not too bad there, though. So they preordained there. Let's just close that so we can remind ourselves who their commander is. Uh, so it is uh, the duo from Theros. So I wonder if they're going to make an appearance at all uh, in the new Theros. That might be pretty cool. So they've got three colours of mana available at the moment, and they've cast Najila. Ooh. So, their shenanigans are going to start soon. Um, so yeah, whenever a warrior attacks, and she's a warrior herself, um, you get to create a 1-1 one -one token tapped and attacking. Wall of Omens just come down, uh, so defender and draw a card. So yeah, looks like they're setting up some defences. And we've drawn Balan. He's a pretty cool cat. <laughs> Dude, that joke's already. Uh, so let's play a swamp, let's get down the commander sphere. Cool, so we're not looking too shabby actually, to be fair. Uh, slightly worried about... Um, other things. Do we want to enlighten Tutor actually? Uh, we can save that till the end of uh, just before it comes back round. So they're getting some free mana off the carpet. Clifftop Retreat and Swamp, thanks to the Urborg. Uh, poetic Ritual, so it's like the uh, Black Dark Ritual, almost, costs one extra mana. And a Sword of, is that Truth and Justice? Yeah, recognise the artwork. Plus two, plus two, pro white, blue, put a plus one, plus one counter on creature you control and then proliferate, and they've attached it, so we've now got a 5-4 Najila. That is something that needs to be taken care of. Where are they swinging? Uh, not to me. Oh, they're going over to Crick. So that's pretty cool. That gives us a turn to get something down at least to deter the deter the attack. So yeah, they're off to a very speedy start. So they're going to put the counter on the Gila or start boosting up the warrior token. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, onto the Gila and then proliferated. So seven six commander now. That is a slight threat. Strip mine. Oh, looks like they are just. Passing the turn as well, so they've had nothing to do on their turn. Right, so are we going to want to uh, enlighten Tutor for anything or just see what we draw? What could we possibly get that will help us uh, protect ourselves from the Gila? Not really any artifacts or enchantments that are going to do that in here. It's mostly the instants and sorceries. Um, but we've got the mana, so yeah, let's do it. Let's just have a look. Uh, tap on the wrong one. <laughs> cool, so what can we possibly grab out of here that will help 
Um, Underworld Connections is not going to do it. Our Swords are not quite going to do it without something to stick them onto. Um, History of Benalia might be quite interesting because then we can start generating Night Blockers. Don't particularly want to do that much though. Uh, that's just a pump spell. Yeah, so it's not looking great, to be honest. We might just get a Smothering Tithe. Or Solemn, actually. If we grab Solemn, possibly a bit of a waste, but at least it's a blocker, and then that will help uh, ramp a little bit. So, yeah, we'll cast that. Possibly the first punt of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to use that ability. Uh, so, let's just grab our planes. Into play tapped. Past the turn. Got nothing else to do. How much is the equip cost on the Stoneforge? It's an equip of two. So that's not too bad. So they get their free mana again. And who are they going to swing in at this time around? Oh, Black Blade Reforged. Uh, so cheaper to equip to legendaries. Uh, plus one, plus one for each land that you control. So yeah, I think it's next weekend, isn't it? The Throne of Eldraine comes out, so I'll be picking up a booster box of Collector's Edition. So I'll be cracking that on the channel as quickly as I can. And then Brawl Deck's coming out. Uh, so I've uh, pre-ordered each of those with my LGS as well. So it's in 11.10, and that is disgusting. Can't see where it is going just yet. Oh, it's going over to a uh, Crick player still. Yeah, that's then, uh, what, 16 commander damage to them already. So we'd better start getting some deterrence down. Otherwise, they're just going to sort of run away with it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what could we possibly do? Yeah, not really sure, but um, we've got five mana, so Knight of Grace, attach the Stoneforge Masterwork to it. Can't see where they're all going. How come they are blocking? Who knows? Anyway, let's just let it pan out. I'm not being involved in this at the moment, so that's all good. Uh, so now a 12-11 and a pretty beastie warrior token as well. 3-3 three, three at the moment, so that's just going to keep getting worse and worse. Uh, skip through. Hopefully they'll be able to do something this turn. Doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, that's got in. Okay, what is Crook going to bring to the table? Oh, 22 life, 16 commander damage taken from Najila. So they got another swamp down. Oh, prism ring. Uh, whenever you cast a spell of the chosen colour, gain one life. Cool, so I'm not sure that's quite going to help them, but we will see. Maybe they've got a plan. And, oh yeah, we're all extorted from the Syndicate Trafficker. 
Trafficker, is it? Enforcer. That's it. Uh, so they're gaining five life. And up to 30. So that's not too bad. But it's the command damage that's going to do them in. So yeah, they got no, no answers, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what we draw here. I've got so many um, doodars uh, selected. Uh, burnished Heart, okay, so that's not really gonna help either. So, what is it time to do? I think if we, yeah, Knight of Grace for another blocker, so we'll add white to spend on a knight and that. So pro black first strike and is a three two so that's pretty cool and if we get a lock it down as well just so that we're ramping a little bit. So does Najula have trample? That's the question. I haven't seen anything that gives it trample, but no, it's all good. Um, and then we're just going to pass around without attacking. Obviously, you want to keep Solon back for uh, any swings towards us. So uh, the plan for the channel was to uh, do some Brawl uh, streams with Arena because Brawl was coming to, is coming to Arena. Let's just pass that as well. Um, however, there was just a sort of a blog announcement kind of thing about what they're, t what they're doing with Arena. And it turns out that they're only going to be putting Brawl on there once a week. Uh, they haven't stated which day it's going to be on there either. So if it doesn't coincide with a Saturday or a Sunday for streaming, then it's very unlikely that I'm going to be able to stream Brawl on Arena, which is a huge shame because I was really looking forward to it. I was like gearing myself up with a few deck lists and things. But if that's what they're thinking that they're wanting to do, then yeah, I can't really do a lot about it. Um, which is a shame and yeah I don't think it's what's best for the format I think they need to have it as an evergreen format on there like as an alternative to standard for when standard gets uh, boring for people but yeah we will see um, so yeah there's that and there was something about historic as well that um, that's going to be restricted in some way. They have listened and sorted out the wild card fiasco of uh, two wild card, rare wild cards for a rare, if it's a historic. But yeah, it's not. Um, doesn't seem to be handled brilliantly at the moment. Seems fantastic that they're sort of starting to add friends lists and things like that. So really chuffed about that. But to be honest, I might as well just keep on playing Commander on MTGO and forget about arena if that's what they're going to be doing it's just how i'm feeling uh, yeah right is any of that ridiculous warrior army coming my way it looks like they've yeah so they've got enough mana to be able to do it all over again Whilst we're waiting for that to happen, let's have a look at that plane. So that's uh, Odyssey, possibly, I think. Don't really recognise the... Right, what's coming my way? None of that. Cool, so they've taken even more damage. And yeah, they passed the turn, fair enough. Three visits, so they're still ramping, same, same as me. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, um, also, yeah, hopefully the uh, stream quality is all right. I really need to get myself a second monitor uh, so that I can uh, stream properly. I'm currently uh, using my mobile phone to look at sort of Twitch for the chat and things like that. And I've got an app which controls the streaming software for uh, audio and things like that. So yeah, second screen would be fantastic. So I could have the game on one and then sort of look at all of the Twitchy uh, streamy bits on the other hand to see if I'm dropping frames or if the sounds are right for everyone that's watching. Bola Citadel. Sacrifice 10 non-land permanents and each opponent loses 10 life so not an awful lot going to be happening there. Najila's tapping an island so obviously they've got something going on. Uh, no, they tapped it and untapped it. Uh, so they can flip cards off the top of their deck, can't they? Yes, uh, so Demir House Guard, so they can pay four life to cast that. They get one life back from the Prism Ring. So it kind of staves off the um, Najila part of the attack, but the Warriors are still going to be chipping away at their life total. Uh, Demonic Collusion. So they've just lost uh, five more life. Search your library for a card, put that card into your hand. Um, yeah, not sure that that's going to do anything. Obviously, they don't have the mana at the moment, but they got the blocker, so they might survive for one more turn, and then they can use that one card to do what they're going to do. We really need to start getting some equipment down and some card draw as well. Uh, we're doing okay for ramp, to be fair, but yeah, we just need some more cards uh, in our hand. Vanquisher's banner might be pretty good to get down next. Or we could do burn Burnished Heart and sack the Locket, maybe, uh, if that works. Uh, no, that's four mana for the Locket, blimey. Cool, right, our turn, Sign in Blood. Um, and I stupidly got the full art one. Uh, it's like pay life, draw some cards, so it's pretty cool. Um, but what we're going to do is continue with the artifact theme and yeah get the vanquishers banner down so then when we start playing knights uh, then we'll start drawing cards so uh, not going to attack anyone uh, block blocker crazy army over there uh, so it's pre-selected knight already don't know what that was. There's some kind of like Xbox game thing running in the background on my laptop. I need to try and disable that at some point uh, so that that kind of annoyingness doesn't happen. Right, they're enlightening tutoring at the end of my turn. Goodness knows what it's going to be for. Maybe Druid's, uh, Druid's Repository? I think that's what it is. I haven't played my Najila deck in so long. So they get that. 
Yeah, no one's really drawn any answers, unfortunately. I certainly haven't. There was nothing really in my uh, Enlightened Tutor stack that I could have got to take care of that. It's all instants and sorceries like uh, Wraths and things like that. Uh, even a uh, Wear Tear would have been useful. Get rid of the carpet and get rid of uh, one of the swords. Enchanted creature has infect. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> uh, so they've got a 3 3 infect warrior token at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, things just going from bad, from bad to worse, isn't it? Okay, so they've conceded the game uh, midway through this attack, so yeah, presumably they're then going to move back and then reassign the attack to someone else, which is, yeah, one of the downsides to MTGO that people just sort of quit like that. You wouldn't do that face-to-face -face with someone, um, so what makes it acceptable to do it online because... Yeah, they were going to attack you, and yeah, you were more than likely going to be close to death or dying. But you've now basically screwed the rest of us. Um, rather than taking one for the team, unfortunately. Um, yeah, sportsmanship, I think it boils down to. But yeah, really sort of gets my goat, <laughs> is probably the nicest way of putting it. Um, so are they attacking with infects? Are they not? Yeah, keeps going in and out. It's still in the hokey cokey. Uh, so we can always yield to that trigger so it won't hold us up. Uh, let's just scroll back up here. So. They'll watch her. I'm being attacked by Najila herself. Uh, so, yeah, I could block with the Solemn and draw a card, finally. Okay, so all of these warriors are attacking me now. Well, some of them, not all of them. It's about half and half. Cool. So, we'll block Najila with the uh, Solemn. We'll block one of the Warrior Tokens with the Knight. So, yeah. Not as bad as it could have been. Ooh, boom. Oh no, it's, yeah, they don't have the mana, it's just a single targeted rift. Just getting rid of the infect token. Ooh, they're fluster storming as well. Yeah, so the rift doesn't happen. It's been uh, <laughs> fluster stormed away. Brutal. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, got no instance of sorcery. So yeah, just block some stuff. Hope for the best. So yeah, block there. Block one of those. That's as good as it's going to get. Right. 
Right, what are we going to get? Um, it'll trigger there. Yes, we want to use it. Hey, we got a soul ring. We got even more ramp. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, hopefully our natural draw on the turn is going to be a little bit better than that. Uh, so we took barely any damage there, to be fair. We were able to chomp block Najila. There's no trample going on. So, yeah, sweet. Fingers crossed that um, Group Hug over here manages to pull out another answer. Um, let's just F6 it round now. So yeah, welcome to uh, the stream if you just joined in. Um, so I'm playing Ariel uh, Night Tribal, so Orzov, just in uh, destroy all creatures, fair play. Um, yeah, got no qualms about that. Have they got another answer up their sleeve like they did with our Flusterstorm? Yeah, just in preparation for Sir Gwyn. This deck is actually really, really similar. I did go Knights and Equipment with it as well. And I was going to be running a deck tech on this uh, before they spoiled the Eldrain stuff. Okay, so Graveyards can't be targeted. They draw a card. And that was it for them as well. Okay, so we've drawn the land. Uh, so yeah, let's get down the Field of Ruin. What can we do here? So if we uh, use the Field of Ruin to pay for the Soul Ring. We can then cast Balan. So if we use that for white, because it's annoying me, and do that. So we draw a card off the Vanquishers banner. We've got a 4 4 first striker. We just need to find one more equipment and then Balan gets double strike as well. And we drew Arvad, so that's not bad. Um, yeah, works well with Ariel. Haven't gone for a full on legendary um, build, but yeah, still alright. Let's uh, go to. Equip that and yeah, we'll use these. Um, and then we've got two mana left over, so we're going to target ourselves. I wish I could remember 100% what it. Yeah, draw two cards, lose a life. So we drew two lands, okay. Beginning combat, we actually get to attack now. No, we don't. It's got summoning sickness. We'll pass it around for another turn. Okay, let's see how quickly they can recover. Obviously, Najila's only three mana, so they can quite easily get her back out. I think having Arvad down is going to be really good. Death touch, so that's a bit of a deterrent for sure. So yeah, there comes Najila. Where are they getting the double mana from? Add that or that. Uh, is it the... Oh no, the Urbog's gone. Yeah, who knows? Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, so on to Group Hug's turn. Uh, so they're close and verging, so they're ramping even more. That was a well-timed uh, Day of Judgment on their behalf. Definitely thankful for that. Um, so then, yeah, it'll swing straight back round to me, 
play a land, play Arvad, swing in with Balan. Um, yeah, seems to be the way to go, I think. Uh, we'll get to draw off of the Vanquisher's Banner as well, which is tasty. Um, so yeah, let's add white, black, soul ring. And one more. Got a skull clamp, awesome. So that's going to be pretty sweet, actually, to be honest. If we cast that now, and yeah, it things Balan down by minus one, but he's a seven-seven. He's a beast, and we're going to be getting double strikes. So all good. Uh, so yeah, let's attach onto there and pay the one of whatever. Let's move to combat with our 8-6 double striker. And naturally we're going to attack the Najila player. Cool, so they're down to 23. Do we want to read the bones at the moment? Um, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Tap all of that. Right, let's see if there's anything tasty here. Uh, scry 2, so we want to put that on the bottom. And here are the Lithomancer. Mm, yeah, not really doing it for me either at the moment. Normally Nahiri definitely does. And there we go. So we've got a Stoneforge Mystic and another sword as well. Sweet. Right. Uh, we've got nothing else to do. So let's pass it around. See what the, what the backlash is from that attack. So yeah, I really like Knights. They're an awesome tribe and was so happy when Dominaria came around and we got a whole slew of them. I never thought that we would get so many so quickly afterwards. It's only been, what, like a year? Year and a half, something like that, for it to come around. So, yeah, not complaining at all. Uh, more tribal goodness, the better. There's not too many actual sort of tribal cards in the set sort of generically but there's plenty of sorts of fairy um giant um knight support in there which is really exciting uh so i need to go back and have a look at my Kalemne giant tribal deck and have a go at sort of up updating that there's one white giant in there which is absolutely awesome um so yeah whilst we're waiting for uh this Chat to just equip. Oh, what just happened? Okay, so they passed to exile the um, the Gila. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, so yeah, getting that sort of more and more expensive. Um, so yeah, whilst they're just taking their turn, um, I don't know if my actual chat box is working. Uh, if anyone's there and wants to say hello, uh, please feel free to. Uh, it would be awesome. Um, but if not, don't worry. Right, are they going to do something? They've been an all-star at clearing some of the... Oh my goodness. That hurts. That really, really hurts. And I've got nothing to respond to that either. A Chroma's Vengeance just knocked the whole board back. What, like 10 years. Uh, so I drew a command tower, Sigarda's Aid. Uh, both very, very useful. And an Underworld Connection. So if we play down the command tower, Stoneforge Mystic Time. So we're going to do that and that and go searching for equipment yep 
Yes, please. So, what equipment have we got left in here? Uh, Hammer of Nazan. So, how much mana have we got left? One, two, three, four, five. So, we want to. Yeah, one colorless, two, and that. Automatic comes down and equips. Do we want to equip it? Yeah. Gives it a bit of indestructible. And then a uh, final bit is let's just pop out the Scar's Aid. So effectively doing the same thing that Hammer of Nazan does, but uh, we've now got Flash on things, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, end of the turn. I think we're going to recover from that wipe, uh, the Acroma's Vengeance, quite well. I think we're certainly going to fare better than uh, Najila. So they got a SRAM down. Love SRAM. I don't think he made the cut for this deck though. I just had too much else that I wanted to put in. We need a 200 card format, to be honest, don't we really? Um, to fit everything in. Um, Battle of Wits format. Um, <laughs> yeah, completely impractical. Would be ridiculously expensive. But yeah, um, it's basically half a cube. <laughs> but might be quite good fun. Um, so just doing a bit of a land check. No one has got any lands worth blowing up with Field of Ruin, to be honest. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. Each player may play an additional land on each of their turns. And now we've just been wheeled. Wish I had um, Smothering Tide down. Nothing I'm too worried about losing in that hand, to be fair. And I've got two lands there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll instantly be able to take advantage of that. We've finally got some removal in Merciless Eviction. Vault of the Archangels is a pretty sweet land, to be fair. Death Touch and Life Link to all creatures, and not just target creature. And we drew a uh, Valiant Knight. And Phyrexian Arena as well. So, what are we going to do? Uh, let's drop the Archangel. Let's drop the Amira. Whilst it's tapped at the moment. That's not too bad. Right, what else can we get away with doing? So, if we record a Paladin. So, we'll use that one up. And Colourless. Knight of Malice, we can do. And that leaves us with four mana for the Valiant Knight. So you stay. Um, yeah, still no equipment though, unfortunately. Do we want to attack? Um, it's indestructible, to be fair, so we could have a cheeky swing, which we're going to do. What does that do? Hexproof. When it is about to field, draw two cards, so they might block and just draw the two cards.
So, you know what I was saying at the start of the stream slash stream replay on YouTube, uh, that it was turned out to be a beautiful sunny day. It has just started hammering it down. So I don't know if you can hear that on the windows, but yeah, it's looking minging out there. Uh, so we can give our Knights double strike over there. Obviously we've got the uh, death touch and uh, life link over there so yeah next turn so long as no one touches the board uh, we've got quite a potent swing there if we've got enough mana oh I mean, we've got another land what did they just do so i was just rambling oh just uh fetching this is why i love mtgo still and yeah the interface is slightly dated but you can just get like wooded foothills um Stoneforge Mystics, they're not really affected by cardboard prices. It is a fairly constant um, economy. And there is a, a slight looming of it closing down one day uh, due to Arena. But that's going to be years and years off, I reckon. I don't think that there's any, um, any chance of that happening soon. I mean, they've just given it sort of a bit of an overhaul in terms of appearance with the menus so i don't think they would do that if they were going to axe it but yeah and like with the amount of card renting services out there mana traders that kind of stuff and um, you don't have to invest that heavily and to be honest edh staples once you have them you have them and you only need to buy them once you don't need to buy them for every deck so this is like the ultimate form of uh minimalist magic so long as you can remember what you have And yeah, I've done that a few times, ended up buying duplicates of cards, but <laughs> it's not too bad. I can't see any real way of getting rid of them. And they're duplicates of cards that I probably wouldn't be able to sell because no one wants sort of uh, wants them. They're pretty basic stuff. Time to play, gain seven life, shuffles their graveyard into their library. Okay, so Tetsuo, Tetsuko is down. Each player discards a hand. Great number of cards of a player discarded this way. Cool, so we gain two cards. We go up to six. Still haven't drawn a Smothering Tithe. If he's going to keep playing Wheel Effects, we definitely want the Smothering Tithe. Okay, so we've drawn another land, so that's pretty cool. We'll get to be able to play two lands this turn. And a Sword of Feast and Famine. Tidy. So if we drop both of those. So let's play this. Why does that cost more? Oh yeah, there we go, Thalia. Okay, so that's no problem really. So, one, two, uh, got rid of my soul ring. Yeah, of course. Three, four. So we take two life, two damage, I should say. Uh, so we are going to equip that onto our first striking Knight of Malice. Uh, yeah, same thing. Does the same thing. Oh, is that moving the hammer off of the Stoneforge? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, no, we're fine exactly as we are there. Thank you. And right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana left. Kinsmail and Cavalier is going to be up next. One, two, three, four. So everything's now got double strike, which is excellent. Um, we want to keep that in hand. We're not too worried about that. If we go... Actually, let's cancel that. Let's early in blade. One, two, three. Oh, it costs four. Of course it does. Okay, that's annoying. Um, main phase. Okay, so we're done. Beginning of combat, so we're going to send that over there. We've got a 3-2 indestructible, so we'll send that over that way as well. And we've got, yeah, 3-4 double strike. 4-2 double strike? Yeah, why not? Battle cry, let's get it on. So we've been greatly helped out by um, the uh, group hug player. Uh, we don't have enough mana to activate anything else. It would have been nice to get the Vault of the Archangel off as well. Cool. So they discard down, they got six cards in a hand, so that helps a little bit. And we get to untap, so we get to do more shenanigans. Uh, I should have activated it then. Uh, no point in activating that now. Uh, have they quit or did I actually kill them? I actually just killed them. Cool. Uh, well, GG's. Uh, let's just open up that chat. Okay. And then back on with the game. So let's uh, Healing Blade. Uh, so we only need to pay three now, which is handy. One, two, and we'll add Colorless there. So we get a few triggers, so we get them triggering this way. What do we want to uh, put the sword onto? The Cavalier. Um, no, no need to use that ability. Let's just close that down. So mano o mano or mano o womano, quite possibly. Um, anything else we want to do? We really want to leave some mana up. I think if we just get our yield down, that will be enough for the turn. One, two, three, four. Something like that. Cool. Uh, so we get to create. Um, knights and tap things to destroy things. Awesome. Going to hold some mana up for that Mortify. So, despite one player dropping out and the threat that was Najila, this game's actually sort of lasted a reasonably nice length. It's been pretty good. Um, presumably now, Group Hug's going to have all kinds of ways of wiping the board doing shenanigans basically destroy all non-land permanents so yeah something like that um is there anything that i can do in the meantime no nope, we're just gonna have to accept that we've been we've been cleansed oh except the mystic nice 
Uh, yes, we're going to use that. Thank you. Uh, recasting three visits. Yeah, of course, they shuffled the graveyard back into their um, library. They are fairly tapped out. Uh, so we only draw one card and can only play one land a turn. We profited quite nicely from that, to be fair. Um, and we've drawn another land. So if we pop that down, if we play Elspeth, um, colourless and colourless there. Cool. So what we want to do is start creating some tokens. Uh, they're soldiers, so it's not amazing. And then if we get down Lancers as well, so we get to do a little bit of a fetch for something or other. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, that's all right. So we've still got more to find mana up. Um, so what do we want to do? We possibly, how much mana is Josie Vest? Because that is going to be hilarious. Six, so ten altogether. And we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Or do we want to Gideon, which is also quite interesting, start creating more uh, light tokens. Or Danitha. First Strike Vigilance Life Link is pretty good. We're running out of swords though. Um, yeah, let's go Josu Vess just because it's going to be hilarious. Never actually managed to cast it kicked. Okay, so past turn. We've got nothing to attack with. We're not going to swing the Stoneforge in. So yeah, boom. Uh, so yeah, eight two two zombie knight creature tokens with menace. We don't have haste, unfortunately. <laughs> We're doing pretty good. Okay, so they're cycling the crows and tusker. They've got some really, really nice lands in their deck, to be honest. This one, I just sort of threw anything together with it. I've got a bit of Ravnica, I've got a bit of uh, whatever that is, Arrow of Devastation, um, Amanketi type thing going on. Propaganda! Oh, just had auto pass on, so I needed to turn that off so that I've got a way to respond to the propaganda. All that. Is that going to be a problem? Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine as well. And forgot to respond. Uh, so black white anything so I've got no land to put in so I get to draw a card cool so we drew a land <laughs> and we've got open the armory as well so if we drop that there's Josie Vest, let's cast it with the kicker. So we want black mana. Uh, so that's all of that taken care of. We want a bit of colorless, a bit more colorless. 
One, two, three, four, five. Boom. There we go. That is a lot of two two tokens. Uh, how much mana have we got left? Oh yeah, we need to target creature gets plus three plus three in flying until end of turn. So Elspeth is ticking up nicely, and yeah, let's open the armory. Let's see what uh, we've got left. I think it was just the old. Oh no, Bloodforged Battle Axe is on there. Uh, so yeah, might as well cast that out. Uh, no way of attaching it this turn though. Oh, what just happened there? Just skip my attack phase. Or was I being silly? <laughs> He's just got answers constantly. We draw an awful lot of cards. So that's something at least. We draw an awful lot of lands. So we've got a sword, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, that's a tidy amount of draw. Uh, so they've recast there. Yeah, look at the state of my basics. I've got all sorts going on in here. I've even got an unstable land. Okay, destroyed my mirror with their strip mine. Laboratory Maniac. If you draw a card while the library has no cards in it, you win the game. Uh, they've got 64 cards in their library. Um... So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, nope, not going to pay the two life for it. Okay, so my turn. Right, um, if we drop that down. Smothering Tithe, first of all. Uh, that's going to be quite important. So we'll get a colourless, colourless, colourless and white. So, treasures being made now, which is excellent. We will Swords to Plowshares that. Get that out of the way. Uh, we are then going to keep hold of that because we do want enchantment re removal possibly. Oh, remember to pay for it. Cool, so that's all right. And yeah, actually Fecundity is possibly going to try and draw them out. And we don't really want that. So we're going to exile target permanent. We're going to take that down and we're going to create another knight. That'll do. And so white... White, one, two, three. Anything else that we want to do? So we've got two mana. Um, hold that back for the D spark, I think, to be honest. Uh, let's create another soldier token. 
past 10. This is actually turning out to be quite the battle. Uh, discard, <laughs> um, yeah, of course. And they're paying for the tithe. Oh well. So next turn, uh, Vault of the Archangel swing in possibly, depending on what they've got going on here. Uh, so we'll respond to that and de spark. <clears throat> okay so we've drawn a hedron archive uh, so what are we going to do pop that down uh, benelish marshal time so one of those couple of those Um, what is going to be best? Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control. So, I think if we do that, so it's now 6-6. Six, six. Equip that, and we pay the two. Um, so colourless, yeah, let's just do that. Cool, so this is getting slightly rambly and drawn out, but I want to try and um, do this justice. If we then activate that, so we need a bit of white, black, one, two. Cool, and then let's move to combat. Okay, right, this should take them down a, a little peg or two, hopefully. Um, cool, so Laboratory Maniac's gone. We've got a copy of the Bloodforged Battle Axe in play. We get to draw a card, uh, so yes. That's a nice little interaction that I hadn't thought of, really. Uh, we drew a land, uh, so that's okay. And we want to equip that to uh, Benelish Marshall. I thought it was zero. As long as you control three or more artifacts. Uh, it's only a two for equip anyway, so. Um, yeah, past turn, happy with that. Uh, so smother and tithe again. Are they going to pay the tithe? Nope, get a treasure. So that's activating my metal craft now. Uh, so equip costs. All good. What are they recasting? Scramble verse. Each non land permanent, choose a player at Ramblin, and each player gains control of each permanent for which they were chosen. Untap those permanents. They really are going all out with the craziness. Okay, so they only got a 5-3 with the Battle Axe, so that's not too bad at all. That might be quite interesting. Are they Cyclonic Rifting? Yes, they are. Okay. 
Um, yeah, no ultimate for Elspeth then. But we got the mana, we'll be able to rebuild, no problem. And we're drawing another land. I think that's about all that we've got left in here. Uh, so if we drop that down, we're going to play the knight back out. This is a little bit dull having to redo what we've already done. Cool. Uh, Bloodforge Battle Axe, pay one. Okay, and yes, we want to draw another card. Drawing cards. Equip that uh, for another two. Where else are we going to go with this? Uh, let's get the Knight Errant down again. Those two and colourless and we're not going to use that this turn so tap that for colourless as well uptick for a bit of protection we will then yeah sword of the animist yes we want to draw a card another land uh, equip of zero Cool, so it's 5-3. Anything else that we want to do? Let's get the Hedron Archive down as well. Let's just go all out, to be honest. Right, let's see what kind of uh, heinous response that they've got to this now then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so they've still got my 5-3 with the uh, copied Bloodforge Battle Axe on it. What are they recasting? It's something... Oh, okay, it's just them. Stuffy Doll. Whenever it's dealt damage, it deals me damage. Just attacking other creatures you control get plus one plus one. It's got <clears throat> nothing else going on. Uh, so we'll just stick the soldier in front of it. Okay, so they switched the battle axe over onto uh, Kianos and Dudar. <laughs> Dudar. Um, yeah, we're going to put a land in. Kindred Dominance is quite interesting, so I've got myself a board wipe now. Uh, let's play that. So let's play that for white there. Uh, white and one of those. So yeah, let's pair it. So they both get a double strike, which is pretty cool. And what we can then do is, yeah, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, is that a knight? Yes, it is. So what we could do is something that I haven't got the mana for. So one, two, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I do actually. So yeah, let's just go for target creature gets plus three, plus three and flying until end of turn. We're going to do that uh, so colorless. So this has taken all of my brain power <laughs> to come through this. Cool, move to attack step. Swing in with an 8-8 flying double striker. Yep, let's just get even more land. Um, planes. So they're down to 12 life at the moment. Get to draw another card because another equipment's come into play. It's another land. I think that's about all that we've got left in our deck. See what we draw this time because of the double strike, um, basically. So we've got two activations of it. Uh, we've got enough equipment that we are then going to Equip that onto there and we'll do the same thing again. Yeah, good place, good place. So let's pass the turn. With the amount of board wipes, don't want to overextend with like a called cavalry or anything like that. We should be getting our yell out soon as well, to be honest. Uh, start pumping out some tokens. So they've got a wall. They're down to two cards in hand as well. So we might possibly have broken the back on them. Uh, they're down to four life and I'm on 62. So I believe that unless something crazy happens. Creatures of power three or greater don't untap during their controllers. Untap step, that's fine. We've got an untapped um, silver blade. Players can't search libraries, that's fine. They've still got nothing with flying though, so that's all right. Um, yeah, I'm not going to stick anything in the in the way of it. I'm on 62 life, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded well big-headed. <laughs> Did not mean for that to sound like that. Oh, they were going after the Elspeth anyway. Oh, I see. Ah, they stitched me up a cropper like that. Okay. Well, we'll just kindred dominance, it's fine. It's all worked out rosy. So we get to put another land card into play. Stone Hero Giant. Cool, so we've got no more equipments left. That is um, moot, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll pop that down. Uh, let's go for the dominance. One, two. Colorless, colorless. Colorless, and another two of those. So, we're choosing Knight, obviously. Let's just overkill it. White, black. Extra, extra. Move to combat, and yeah. Cool, so let's see if they've got a response. I 
that was quite uh, the long battle, to be fair. Cool, so there we go, won the game. Uh, that is pretty cool. So first proper weekend stream done uh, with a win. So not gonna complain about that. Let's just reveal hand, even though they probably know um, what was happening. So yeah, awesome, Night Tribal, it's a winner. Uh, so hopefully uh, Sir Gwyn is gonna be just as much fun to play as that. I love equipment, I love um, swinging in with um, knights with swords. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, cheers for dropping by on Twitch if you have. And yeah, we'll have more of the same next weekend. And if you're watching this on the replay on YouTube, Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, well worth sticking with it through till the end. We're up to nearly an hour and a half, to be honest. And yeah, I will catch you all on the next one. Cheers. Yeah.